two, one, power up. Going high, going all the way down to the far side. Here comes Killer Bees and the Moore Martians. One, two, two. Killer Bees trying to get that second one. Dexter. I think it was Dexter and Strike, or Dreadbots and Strike Zone, adding it up over on the far side. Here comes the Alliance Captain Strike Zone from Lapeer. Working in the middle of the field. Nice soft shot by the Killer Bees out of Auburn Hills, followed up by the Goodrich team and more Martians. Oh, it fell back down on top of them. Little tippy on that side. Killer Bees back up to the top shelf again, and nice smooth action there. Now working out of the corner of the Blue Alliance, the Evil Empire working with their Alliance partners, trying to get into their null zone. Now they get past their partner. And all the way down, going to start feeding their own switch to maintain control of that switch. They shoot and score it again. Bearcats starting to fill up. They engage, they levitate for the Red Alliance. No joy on the Blue Alliance side. Work in the corner, the Killer Bees with their human player. And down on the other side. For the Red Alliance, also the Moore Martians out of Goodrich. Going up again, going for three scoops or two. Oh, that one, no room for that one. Going to need another scoop on that one. Oh, they dropped one again. Nice placement. The Blue Alliance holding on to that scale and a switch. Down to 30 seconds. Killer bees seem to be having a little issue there. It's a 20 point game. Down to 16 seconds left. 10 seconds. Dreadbots engage their hook. Their partner's right there with them in the strike zone. Trying to engage theirs, but time expires. Here's our scores for quarterfinals number four. Let's take a look. And taking a one to nothing lead, the Blue Alliance with a 391 to 284 victory. Remember, 